I get a fair amount of email from people asking how they can stand at their table saw to be safest. Too often they're asking that because they're not using the guard that came with their saw and they've either had a kickback or have come close. These strings represent the flight paths of kickbacks that I have heard about, have seen, or have had myself. This is the one kickback that I've had and this left a good sized bruise on my side and I was lucky to get away with that. Now there really is a way to stand at your table saw and be safest. And we'll show you how to do that in this video. No blade guard system can prevent all kickbacks. Even the better ones, like this one on my Powermatic PM2000, which I think is one of the best blade guard systems in the business. You have to pay attention to what you're doing and follow some simple procedures to make your working at the table saw as safe as possible. When you use a table saw without a blade guard, as the wood passes the blade, there's nothing to stop it from turning in at the rear, and this is where a lot of kickbacks start. This is the piece of wood I was cutting when I had my kickback. As it got to the rear of the blade, it turned away from the fence, and that was it. When his kickback started, the blade cut almost all the way through the piece, but then got shallower as it accelerated the piece and flipped it out. Even using just a riving knife would have helped. That would have helped prevent the wood from turning into the blade as it went past. Better yet would be to use the full blade guard system that came with the saw. This does the best at controlling the wood and keeping you safe. I've seen right-handed people use their left hand to push wood through the saw. The plan here is to put the rip fence between you and the blade, thinking that'll stop any kickbacks from getting to you. The problem here is if you're not real good with using your left hand to guide wood through the saw, you can be actually pushing it away from the fence and into the blade and increase the chances of a kickback. In most situations, using a good blade guard system and a push handle means you're already standing in the safest place when operating a table saw. And while some continue to say it ain't so, you can use a miter gauge with a blade guard system. So unless you're just intent on making a piece of wood with this fancy arc cut, use a blade guard system and stand where you're supposed to, to be as safe as you can when using your table saw.